Hello super investors once again let's talk about Batcom group today's movement what happened today why it did not go in upper circuit we will talk about that also if you have observed today Batcom group was range bound it opened in 65 rupees 80 paisa went low to 63 rupees again it recovered to 65 but again it was trading around 63 to 64 rupees so around one percent uh, you know downfall we have seen in Batcom group today so we were expecting that with the market it will also go up but it did not happen although nifty and census recovered very sharply today but unfortunately we did not see upper circuit in batcom group in uh, nsc today we saw a volume of around 14 lakh shares and on bsc around 3 lakh shares so around 17 to 18 lakh shares will be traded today in batcom group share so actually there was a positive news about asm uh, asm stage 4 to asm stage 3 shift so intraday should have been more and volume should have been more but it is not happening there are two three reasons for that number one people are waiting for quarter four results because if you have seen the the company does not move very fast uh, the, before quarter four result after quarter four result investors becomes confident if it is bad they know the what to do and if it is very good they know what to do so basically everyone is waiting for the quarter four result which will be declared on 20th of may that is one reason Second reason is bonus is getting credited in a lot of investors account. Yesterday also a lot of people commented that they got the mail from CDSL or they got uh, bonus shares in their DMAT account. What happened in your account? Please comment whether you got bonus or not today. Today also a lot of people must have got bonus from Batcom group. So please comment so that everyone will come to know. So 19th is the last day to get the bonus shares. So people uh, maybe people are cautious that after bonus share credit maybe there will be heavy sell off that is one reason people are not very bullish like very aggressively buying Bradcom group share and secondly quarter four result is awaited for that also people are very cautious and number three is like uh, uh, people are also cautious about the world market as you have seen that IT sector is getting beaten up uh, like it has got very badly beaten up in last few uh, uh, days and last month also so that's why people are cautious and today night there will be a meeting of uh, US Fed. Mr. Powell will be announcing the new data and new policy of US Federation. So that's why people are cautious that if tomorrow it, some bad uh, declaration is done or data is not positive, market may fall tomorrow. That's why people are not very uh, aggressive about IT sector overall in current time. But for long term, if you see IT sector is one of the best sector to hold. So people who have a long term outlook, uh, they can hold Bradcom group and people who are like cautious or worried, they can exit now or they can re-enter after quarter four result also that you can also do. But after maybe uh, and uh, there are two, three news awaited from the Bradcom group, CFO appointment and also audio company acquisition re, uh, again update. So if any of these news come, maybe we will see positivity in Bradcom group. Of course, forensic audit report is also awaited from the company no update has uh, you know has been declared from the company since long time so maybe that will also work as a trigger for batcom group so we have to see so what is your call whether you will buy more shares of batcom group right now or you will wait till quarter for result please comment as far as i am concerned i am not going to take any entry in batcom group until unless quarter four res uh, results are uh, declared because i want to see how the quarter four is uh, declared depending on uh, de after that only we can decide the next course of uh, share uh, pricing of Bradcom group. What you feel quarter four result will be good or bad that you can also comment. So overall it is consolidation uh, co in the consolidation mode Bradcom group share that is also a good thing. It is not breaking its support of 60, 62 rupees. That is also we should take as a positive thing. So generally it is seen that the, the share which consolidates for the long time it bounce back also very sharply in coming days. So let's hope. Tomorrow, if market is positive, tomorrow at least we can see after the upper circuit in Batcom group. What you feel, tomorrow it will go in upper circuit or normal trading. But what I feel, it will be range bound between 60 to 70 rupees till quarter four results are declared. After that only, it will uh, she, uh, see the sharp rise or sharp, sharp fall after quarter four result. So let's see what happens tomorrow. But today also, it did not see the sharp fall or sharp rise. So that is quite okay because no share goes non-stop in upper circuit or lower circuit so for the health of the share sometimes it is good that it goes in normal trading also so that is what today we saw in batcom group so let's see what happens tomorrow all the best thank you friends